everyone. My name is Brant Van Unen. I'm here today to present on the book Arc of Justice. Oh, by the way, that voice that you hear, that's my interpreter. Arc of Justice was written by Kevin Boyle. Boyle himself is a historian and a professor of American history at Northwestern University. Arc of Justice was published by Henry Holt and the company in 2004. And this book focuses on the events of Ocean Suites and his trial. It includes uh, his family, his friends, and the trial over the murder of a white man. Now, what happened isn't so simple. And Kevin Boyle, his writing style, um, it's, it follows a, a narrative, almost like a story. However, it's not completely linear. What he does is, He'll focus on certain points um, in, in the timeline and then expand upon them and uh, give different context to individuals, groups, organizations involved. And it, it provides a full context and a, a, a rich understanding of the events. And it allows the readers to feel fully immersed into, into what's happening. You almost feel transported back into the 1920s. In the 1920s, that time period, that Jim Crow laws were at its peak. And segregation the, the original purpose of segregation was to uh, have less oppression happening. However, it was completely unsuccessful. It really, really caused uh, worse racism and it created an unfair caste system wherein white people were uh, had a lot more privilege than black people did and here's an example of that um, they're gonna be there's there's the white culture and then there's black culture as a, uh, slaves became free, they started to create their own identity. And by now, in the 1920s, art, dance, um, all of these things were being uh, identified in black culture, and, and black people were finding their own identity. White groups were, feel, well, were still feeling less cohesive and identified. Um, they, they didn't like that white people, or that black people were now starting to find their identity. And uh, they were starting to feel more confident as a culture. The white culture did not respond positively to this. Um, the KKK was de de developed it again. Um, white supremacy became much more prevalent. Um, the movie that was released, Birth of a Nation, that's a great example. That didn't help at all. It really just caused things to get worse. Now you have to wonder, didn't white people have uh, prestige in their culture? Oh, well, this is yes and no. Um, some pe some uh, white people would enjoy living amongst the black people to enjoy their culture, but then they would just go back to their cozy white homes. And so they were just really taking advantage of the black culture. And that's a good example of the caste system as it was happening back then. Really, Ocean Suites, he was trying to break the glass ceiling, and uh, he wanted to improve his life, so he decided to move into a white neighborhood. It was a nice house. Um, Ocean Suites himself is a doctor. Um, he's a physician. He was able to earn enough money to move into a nice home. So he set his sights on this neighborhood. Now, the justice system. Kevin Boyle, um, he, discuss, he discusses how the justice system starts and ends with white people. After the events of that night, uh, when Ocean Sweet's brother shot the white man, and um, after a mob, it was this big confusion. When the murder occurred, 
the police officers uh, came and arrested the Sweets family. They just went ahead and uh, they went ahead and arrest them. But the Sweets family were, were claiming self-defense. However, since they were a black family and a white man had been killed, the officers went ahead and arrested them. And the arresting officers tried to manipulate the information that they got from the Sweets family through their line of questioning to make it seem as if it was not in self-defense. So later on, um, the it would look like the events that had occurred were, were not quite true. They wanted to try and manipulate the story um, to, to make the suite seem like they were, were much more guilty. And again, this just goes to prove how the justice system works against black people and works in favor of white people. But interestingly enough, so this, this, that, that shows how white people were the beginning of the justice system. And then how white people ended it. The, the league, legal defense fund, they were able to give a lot of money to the Sweets family and they were able to get resources and funds to support them to get a defense attorney. And they were able to hire a really famous defense attorney named Clarence Darrow. He was also a white man, but he was a big supporter of civil rights and social justice. So he was hired for the case to fight for the Sweets family. And he did an excellent job in the first, for the first trial. However, the full jury for the first trial was completely white. So Darrow had to spend a few days trying to weed out um, some of the jury to try and find something that was fair. It still wasn't quite fair, but they went ahead with the trial. Uh, the judge was Frank Murphy. He was a very progressive judge at the time. He was trying to make the trial as fair as possible. But it really wasn't a fair system. He did try his best, but the system was already set up to be unfair. So throughout the trial, the, the, the jury was hung, they couldn't decide. The judge went ahead and called it a mistrial. So the first trial was a failure. They went back to court again. They used a different strategy. Instead of um, charging the entire family, they decided to separate the charges and they only charged um, Henry Sweets, that was Ocean Sweets' brother, and he was eventually found innocent. So that's what we say by it began with, it began with the white people, it ended with the white people, the justice system, uh, because at the beginning they were manipulating the information and they were trying to um, set the suites up for failure, and in the end it was a white person who, as their lawyer, was able to find them justice. So really, in the grand scheme of things, uh, the NAACP was able to develop and grow power through, through these events. They were able to provide more resources for black people. It was this uh, event was able to spark more power into the civil rights movement. And Frank Murphy, as a judge, he later um, was appointed to the Supreme Court, and he was a, a a big supporter of the civil rights movement and the prosecutor against the Sweets family. He later on changed his, his perspective on the events and became a civil rights advocate himself. And he actually ended up working closely and helping the NAACP. Now, what happened to Ocean Suites? It's quite tragic, actually. After the trial, hey, he lost his daughter to tuberculosis and him and his wife separated. After that, his wife also passed away due to tuberculosis, and his brother. 
died of tuberculosis. After all this, um, he was able to develop a good business and then lost everything. He, his business failed. He was broke. Um, he was living in an old studio apartment. Um, and he committed suicide. Really, the dark irony is um, all of this happened at the peak of the civil rights movement. So uh, that was Arc of Justice. It was really quite a tragic story, but it was fully immersive, and the author's writing style was uh, quite inspirational. To You felt like you were taken back into the 1920s. Quite enjoyed it. Thank you.